Hello everyone, I'm Amit, the computer science educator and trainer from India and in this uh, session of remote learning we are going to learn that how we can create uh, interactive quizzes using Microsoft Forms uh, in the Microsoft Office 365 account. I've already logged into my Office 365 account and in which I, uh, I have multiple apps and one of the app is Microsoft Form which is used to create surveys, quizzes and polls where we can observe the results in the real time. So uh, I'll uh, just double click the app to get into it. So it's the interface I'm getting and there we have two options to create a form or to create a quiz. I'll go with creating a quiz and uh, here it is opened an untitled quiz. I'll, uh, I'll just uh, title it like computer networks. You can title it as per your domain. Uh, a quiz to check your understanding on com understanding of uh, computer networks. Anything you can write uh, on your own that uh, whatever you want to convey to your respondents. Here, let me add a question. So, question can be multiple uh, choice type question, a text based short answer or long answer question, a rating type of uh, question on a particular scale of 5 or 10 and there are many other options also but I'll go with the multiple choice question. So here is the, my uh, option to type my first question. It's like set of rules which go governs the communication over a network are called here I can type my options like protocol like a forum, I will add another option like agency, other options like standards. So, uh, here are uh, three options against every choice that is to uh, delete the choice or to respond the um, respond the person who is attempting the a quiz with a particular message or to choose the correct answer. I know the correct answer is protocol, I will choose it and I will also give the message like well done and uh, if one selects the other options I'll give you are wrong. So in order to make it interactive so that my quiz automatically responds wrong or any message you can uh, give to them. So it's like that I can uh, give points to my questions like 10 points for this if uh, anybody answers uh, it correctly. Now here is my question, I'll, I want to create another question, one way is to type all the way through again and uh, do all these options, another way is to select the copy question options which is, uh, is like duplicating this question and I'll just edit the next one as a dash is a network that covers entire city. So, it's like a man, lamb, van and pan. I just kept intentionally the first answer. A man is actually correct, so I don't want to change it. If I want to change it, I can do it. I just uh, duplicate this question to create the third one like ATM is an example of what kind of network. I know the answer is actually one. So I'll just uh, uncheck this option and write the message uh, for this like wrong answer. And LAN is wrong. WAN is actually correct one. So I'll check the correct one. And well done as a message to the respondent. So it's like I have uh, done the three questions. Now I would like to see that how they actually look on uh, my screen when I share the link. So I can preview them like this is the desktop mode in which one can see these all questions and this is the mobile app mode in which he or she can observe this uh, quiz. Just like that, so I will come back and uh, let's share the link.
with the responding to the students. Let's copy the link. I may also share the quiz on Twitter or Facebook. There are many options to embed it on a website. There are many options to email. But I'll go with the copy the link option and I'll just copy this in my incognito window so that I may see the uh, respondent side of this quiz. So here it is as I already viewed it in the preview. So it is the view, select protocol, uh, the network which in that city. I know it's man, I'll take it one, uh, wrong one. And here I'll take it one. So I've taken one question wrong, I know, but I just want to see the response. So submit this one, thanks. Uh, the response has been submitted, now I want to view the result. So the result is 20 out of 30. And the first question is correct and well done is the massive user I'm getting. And for the other one, I'm getting uh, that you are wrong for this particular answer. The correct answer was this. So it is the way I'm making it, it interactive. Uh, we can add uh, more features to it to make it uh, more uh, customized and more tricky and uh, more interactive. That we will see in the coming up uh, sessions. So stay tuned. For more. Thank you.